Okay, I decided to um, record myself just making the thing because I feel like that would be easier than trying to explain. So I copied the um, text from your text file, but since you have it on your computer, you can just directly upload it. And anyway, I pasted it into Japana, but you could just click the upload file and upload the file that way. It would be about the same. And then I click submit. If you're going to include um, hiragana words without kanji, then you click include hiragana, but um, I didn't see any when I looked at your list, so I just kept it as it was. And then it just did the thingy, it just did it. And I clicked um, export the CVC file, and I just renamed that file so it's easier to find. And then I went over to Google Sheets and um, went over to import the file. So I went over and found it on my computer, the file that we just made, which was known one, I think. Do 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 do. And then I let it upload and um, I just let it detect it automatically but then I clicked um, create a new sheet because I didn't want it to replace the old sheet just in case but um, a lot of times I'll just have it made in some random sheet so I made that and that's what it looks like it's not in a good format right now so I deleted the what JLPT they think it is and the frequency of the vocabulary because all the frequencies are going to be one there's, there's no way that's going to change because it's a vocab list. Um, and then I looked at this and I was like, wow, there's a weird BRB thingy, but I could use that to separate this into different columns. So I went to split into commons and wrote the, you know, the thingy. And then that went over and split it into common, com I mean, columns. Now they're in separate columns, they look nice. And then I deleted the um, one and two because I feel like that looks really bad. Um, and then after that, I do bait something similar for the, um, Hiraganas, um, but I didn't split them in different columns just because you can split them in different columns. I just decided not to, and instead I just um, re replace things using the find and replace because that thing is just so useful. So first thing I did was delete the the 1.0 and the the burr thingy because it's not needed, and then I made the two point the two dot into um, a comma to separate them but you could always like use something else if you do this on your own to make a nice um, format for yourself it, it doesn't really matter you can even make these all into different columns like I did earlier and separate it out on your um, sheet so I just went over to get a um, thingy that makes it that everything's capitalized because I feel like that looks nicer as well and I just went to where I knew that it was. So um, I went to a the the dead tab that I'm not using as my thingy and pasted the um, formula into the um, tab. And then I copied and pasted what I wanted capitalized. Not where it should be. It should be about uh, three lines down from the top. Just It just has to do with how the copying works. So now all of that text is capitalized for the first um, letter. I feel like that just looks nicer when you're um, looking at it, when you're um, quizzing yourself in the note cards. So then I just replaced um, the text that way. So yeah, then, now my text sheet is done and I'm going to download it. Um, I, I prefer downloading as a tab space because, I don't know, a comma just seems suspicious in my opinion, but it theoretically either should work and I put it in my desktop and I went over to my thing. I specifically already made a um, card type for this that copies the card names from the thing over here so I have a field for everything I'm filling in and I made a Japanese deck. So now I'm importing into that deck. Um, uh, da -da. So I have to go find um, my thingy. I think I had some trouble finding out. I was like, ah, I can't read the alphabet, but uh, I was like really confused about where it was. Then I found it and I was like, aha. And okay, so I have it uploaded, but see it's in the wrong deck. So I need to click the deck and change it into Japanese. And everything's already in order of the correct field types because it's in the order of where the thing is. You can always change these in case it's not in the order, but this was happened to be in order. So it's all good. Now, um, uh, normally you test it afterwards and I went, oh no, when I looked at my test thingy, I did not make a good field. But, so I went back to browse and went, okay, where's Japanese? That's not Japanese. Here it is. And then I went over and um, 
deleted those three, which were wrong. <laughs> I don't know what they are. And then I went on to um, cards to edit the card type. So right now it looks like this and it's like, what? What did I do? Because it's, um, I copied this for something else and it wasn't um, formatted correctly. So I, I went through this um, deck, but I'm going to um, uh, speed through that because you won't need. So the deck that I um, copied from has um, the animation codes already written in it. So I was like, hey, I'll just give that to you. And then I went over and went, oh my goodness, it's blue. And I was like, huh, what should I do about that? So um, I had to go through my codings a bit to change the color. And then um, I found out that uh, the one that the color for this tab thingy was the G player. I was like, oh, that's where it is. Because um, depending on what color you're seeing, it depends on what section it is. Because different sections allow um, affect different colors on the thingy. So I went over and deleted the excess stuff that you're not using in your um, deck that's from my default deck and went goodbye. So now you have a nice little animation. And then um, after this, I uh, made it look a little bit nicer because I feel like having it on the very top makes it kind of hard to look at the character, but it could be wrong. And then I went over and started making your second card type. So in case this is it, this this deck came with a card type, so it wasn't like a good um example of um editing things. So I just copied the first card type, and then I went over and uh changed the um the field names so that different things were on the top. So um uh, I decided this one here is gonna be the reading field card. So I copied reading and put it up in the top, and I went ichi woo. And now here's the correct way to uh, make a new card. You click add card type and you went, yes, I'm making a new card type. And it 100% just copies what was there before. And after that, I made this one into the English. So I copied the um, English field type text thingies. And um, I went over and did the, the burr thingy that makes it indent in the text. So that it's like that. And I looked at this and I was like, man, that's kind of hard to read because of the shadows. So I had to go um, looking for which thing affected the shadows because there's a lot of ones that said shadow and I was like, oh, where is it? And I found it, it was the title three card is the shadow on this um, animation. And I was like, and I tried different um, colors. So um, the default colors, you know, are like black, white, and blue, you know, like all those basic primary colors. But um, rather than using those colors, you can actually just go to the internet and um, find the whatever number is for colors and just paste that in there. And there's a little color pickle on Google and you can do any color from this color pickle. You just need the um, numbers and the hashtag. And you just go over and go, I had to go back to um, title three. I went over and pasted some colors in here. This is just for you to know if you didn't like the color I picked that that's where you change the shading. You even take off the shading. I just kind of felt like it felt needed and I did that so yeah that's um how you how you um make a cards you know and I then I just went over and went through a couple of cards just you know seeing what it looked like so a lot of times card types will go through one type of card before going to the second type I don't it's kind of random I don't really know how the Anki computerized of picking things for it goes that was like a pass my pay grade um and uh Oh yeah, I, this right names here match the field types in the quotation mark thingies. So when you change the name inside there, it moves things around. That's what I was doing. That so whatever field name it is named in the um the the field. So it says kanji. That's the name of that field type. And meaning has like a space there.